What's up YouTube? We got Matchbox. I saw these coming out on Instagram and uh, did the old lunchtime walk, the old stroll on lunch and saw these bad boys. Look at them. They're awesome. Way out of scale, of course, but uh, we're going to look at them and I really like them. They're very, very nice Matchbox trucks. I have a few working rigs. Not many. Uh, while being pretty detailed and they came out probably like oh mid 2000s 10s I think something like that maybe a little bit earlier um, but they've been around not everywhere carries them but uh, your big boys will carry them uh, retail wise and uh, I did see these out and uh, surprise I, I came across them and um, well, obviously retail is a lot cheaper than trying to these guys are, are trying to sell these on ebay right now especially the gmc lots of money you can just go look it up while you're looking at this youtube video right now you can see what they're doing but i did see it uh and what does make it a little bit more difficult is out of the case that, that they come in only one of them would be the gmc and there's doubles of everything else so a little bit more scarce um your best chance someone gets one at least hopefully is uh they put out two cases at a time so that's that this is how they come out of the package and they have some tampering and some not um, looks like they really did more of like the markings and uh, stuff like that for the trucks not uh, necessarily doing the GMC or the taillights or anything like that so easily done and actually there is a guide too if you're not familiar with these trucks especially if you're not from the United States um, they actually do a really good job of it on the card art so I save the cards sometimes I like looking at the cards and I'll just take them off like that and they did the GMC that's how they do it uh, the work truck style of this they don't paint a body color the headlight bucket is gray and then they have a black grill black bumper this one's got the toolboxes and everything like that so orange rack body which is fine and really if you want to take a, take it apart the other cool thing about working rigs is they seem to assemble them with screws so you, these you don't even have to drill rivets out and the construction of the axles is different it's an actual pressed on axle like bigger larger toys are made so it is durable and uh, it's got a huge axle really thick it's almost the coat hanger size axle and uh, another thing that's interesting about it is even though it has a plastic base this cab die cast goes under the bed and comes out to these mud flaps they're, they're actually metal so I thought that was interesting so this is how the truck goes down the highway and then when it's actually doing work it'll flip the arrow and then this bad boy flips down and this becomes a, a crash bumper because this is going to go many times slower than highway speeds a lot of times and I'm trying to probably get another, another two or three of these trucks because a lot of the times I'll work in pairs or, or, in, or in threes shutting down whole lanes of highway as they're rolling a lot of times these trucks will carry like cones and uh, construction barrels things like that maybe signs stuff like that and uh, other times for road crews if they're state type trucks and not private companies a lot of these trucks will just be there to protect the guys that are working on the road uh, and then you know basically this is a, a rolling signage keep you guys a little bit safer but um, the cool thing about this matchbox is the way the markings are done they're very very accurate in terms of the way it looks and even the sign is ingenious I love it the the way they picked out the orange they did a good job even though it's not lit and you can get many LEDs and actually light this sign even though it's tiny if you so choose the other good thing about this truck unlike some others is they actually paid attention to doing some interior so just doing maybe like a colored window or very basic and step is done very good and so is the molding by the headlights and all that the GMC is a little odd that's not really how it is in real life 
they did a funny script. It's not that thin, although it can be picked out red paint. And you can see it'd be e very easily paint out the, the headlight bucket and the headlights and all that. You just put a little black on these mirrors and they'd look a little bit better. But you could see the highway services. This is a new, I guess, a new design by Matchbox. It says, I think it says Matchbox Highway Department or something like that. Hold on. Yeah, so, and this is Unit 58. They have these kind of generic wheels that they're putting on a lot of stuff, although it looks good on this truck. It's definitely not going to be a single wheel rear axle, though. It's probably going to be a dually. So I was looking at alternatives, and this is undersized to 164 scale. This is a little bit more accurate, 164. We've got this M2, which goes along nicely, but both look like highway units. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So they're based on similar platforms. Now that that ha that's a medium heavy duty truck by uh, General Motors. So this happened to be GMC, but Chevrolet also makes the same cab chassis. And um, you know, basically they they'll do the interiors based on uh, half tons, up to one ton truck. So they'll use some of those components for the cab, and the rest of it's all specialized. And uh, so really the windshield, even though it's bigger, the width of this cab here is most like a pickup truck. So if you want to think of it like that, you can compare this truck pretty simply to 164th. It's a little undersized, but not by much. Just had the right wheels and tires. It would sit up a little bit higher. But again, they're about the same width. Because trucks in this class, they usually have like a dimensions that they kind of all follow. And uh, this should be a little bit wider, but you can get away with using it on a layout or something like that. Now the the scanner that we're going to look at next, that thing's way undersized. That thing's a full size semi truck, and it looks tiny. It looks like a van. But uh, just for the detail on this, and once I paint it, maybe put different rims on. The problem with that is since it is undersized, these are going to look giant. But the ones that came to mind for a wheel swap would have been this. So, you could see, I mean, it's going to be a stretch. It's going to look like a custom truck almost because the rims are going to be so much bigger. So, I might fool around with different types of wheels and tires and see. I almost think the half-ton wheels would be better or the, the one-ton trucks that like Greenlight are doing might even look better. So, you can kind of see those on there. That would look appropriate, sort of. So... I don't know, but it would be its own deal because it's its own scale almost. Really, not a lot to compare it to. It might look better with other Matchbox cars. I don't know, but uh, definitely highlights for me is the detail of the vehicle. It is a relatively larger truck that they've been doing. I mean, they're doing these semi trucks and they're like tiny. They're very close to 187 scale, if, you know, if not a little bit bigger. But so this is decent and uh, licensed model. So that's always a plus so there it is and then if you need any numbers they're calling it that that's what they're calling it attenuator bringing your attention to things and then it has its own specialized panel on the back that describes the movement so cool stuff working rigs not really a huge fan of these things but you know if they look good or if it's a police I've been kinda like doing the matchbox police stuff just because their liveries look good even though their wonky scales are all over the place. This is another cool truck. This is like a tactical man center. And they run these units for specialized operations. What was cool about this is the moving part is the the command center back part and this opens up so it goes wider, increases the space in there and makes it operational. So it's kind of cool. You have to pull on the little shields here. The little uh, little window shades or whatever that is. <laughs> Maybe it's armor. But I guess this was modeled off of Australian units. I guess they have a vehicle that looks like this. Its livery is the same. And it has an all blue lighting on the front. So it's got a lot of cool features. Definitely just looks like 
and it's got the communications dish up top that flips up. Good detail. This can be super detailed pretty easily. Probably put lights on it too for all those police car guys. There's a lot of them out there in the customizing community. These wheels look pretty appropriate on this truck, even though I'll probably have a dual setup in the back. A lot of times I'll run these triaxle trucks and they'll be set up like a bus or this is a single and this is a dual. Just depends. The oops like yeah, the window, smoke window comes up to the cab top and makes the light bar. I think this is one that was released before a new look. Yeah, seems to be a newer model. I think they had a truck like this, but it was based off the fire engine rescue. So this is a foreign. There's your ladder. There's nothing really in there. <laughs> and then it folds back up. So it's a cool truck. Again, the construction is with the screws and the metal axle. Big thick metal axle. Rolls good. So love it. Very cool truck. It's gonna go with the police car stuff though for matchbox. Really not gonna be something in the the scale detail department of my shelving, but that's okay. So there's my two trucks. Actually, you know, this one looks good with the diorama and stuff and, and uh, you know, I think it's a really cool truck. I can't wait to get my hands on more of them and hopefully this will be a big hit and Matchbox will do other stuff with it. You know, I could definitely see it being a police or another highway truck, but it's awesome. Definitely cool. So hopefully I get to detailing it in a little bit. So there is some Matchbox. A little short video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time.